<laughs> no. <laughs> what? What? Oh man, that is crazy. Oh, it's a lovely day. Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave and the name Fluke and the distinctive yellow color should make it clear we're gonna play with some fun equipment today. Um, this right here is a thermal imaging camera. I have used these for years and I love thermal imaging because I love seeing the hidden. I love seeing things about the world that aren't necessarily visible to my naked eye. And this is a beautiful machine with an impressive resolution. But this is not the device we're gonna talk about today because this is also a highly functional, high resolution thermal imaging camera that weighs 22 grams, less than an ounce. How do they make it so small? Well, it connects up to a powerful computer that we all have in our pockets, a smartphone. So we're gonna take this little baby around the cave today and look at some of the hidden heat and imagery that we can get doing very normal shop operations that will look, I think, super cool in this footage. All right, first up is my automatic bandsaw. Uh, I am making some little clamps for some clamping operations that I need, and I need a bunch of little chunks of this bar stock, which I'm cutting on the automatic bandsaw. Thought this would be a perfect uh, thing for the thermal camera to see. You should see the edge of this cutting blade get quite bright, uh, and then you should also be able to see over the course of this, the heat moving down through the bar. And then I believe that the chunks that come off will look a little like lava. Yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, let's get it started. Here we go. So we have it right now set on a relative uh, temperature range, which means the hottest thing in frame is always gonna be bright yellow. Um, and in this angle, it looks like we're watching some giant forging operation happening. Oh man, that is really neat. The whole block is starting to heat up. When I said earlier that this is a higher resolution camera, I want you to re remember that the resolution that I'm talking about is fundamentally different than a camera's resolution, which is receiving light. This is receiving heat. So I go by how the image looks, and I gotta tell you, having played with a lot of thermal cameras, the image on the Fluke is super crisp. The lines are sharp clearly delineated, you really get a sense of what you're looking at. And this isn't adding any camera image to the shot. It is solely a thermal imaging shot. So one thing that's gonna happen here is that when it drops all the way through, I haven't added an off switch for the motor when it drops, so it starts to bang this thing apart, so I gotta kinda catch it when it goes through. Yeah, I know, it's a problem I haven't yet solved. Yep, almost. Oh, so close! Come on, there it is. That's it. Woohoo! Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at catching it. Can you believe that? Ah, oh, looks so cool. 
All right, next up, uh, we're gonna drill some aluminum on the lathe. Now, uh, uh, one, we're choosing aluminum because aluminum transmits heat very well. So we will see that heat move through the body of this chunky chunk I've got very quickly. Um, there's also some very reasonable reasons that you might want to use a thermal imaging camera in conjunction with a lathe. Um, this stock I have here is two and three quarter inch stock. Um, but if I raise it by 50 degrees, 75 degrees, getting it warm, it will substantively be measurable as larger. Uh, and so having stuff at a constant temperature is really important for precise metrology, precise manufacturing of parts. Uh, and this is a way that you can see what might be overheating that you don't expect. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pilot hole here in this end, and then we're going to drill this out with this honking giant Deming bit. It should heat everything up pretty handily. All right, here we go. You live in there. Okay, and then, wait, this guy. You can already see it getting warm. I'm gonna keep on going in here because I want a nice wide start for my Deming bit. There you go. You can see that the hole is, oh wow, look at that. Oh dude, my heat is reflecting off of the aluminum. It looks like light reflections, but it's not. These aren't photons. Oh my God, that's really neat. Okay, I'm sorry. Getting distracted, uh -huh, which is kind of on brand. All right, here we go. Oh. Normally, you would not just drill right in with a Deming bit like this. This is, um, it's asking a lot of all your equipment, but this lathe can handle it and should make the heat signature really lovely. Go. Three, two, one. Oh, let's tighten that up. Red hot swarm. <laughs> it's not red hot, but it looks like it's red hot on the camera. Oh yeah, dude. Also, you can see the entire body of the aluminum getting warmer and warmer and warmer. Oh yeah. Dude, I just want a drop down. I want to be able to lay this over my field of view. I just want this to be in a... Now that was actually quite hot, yeah. It's a, it's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. Um, and let's take a look at this drill bit. The steel Deming bit is also going to be fairly warm. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I just love that the heat ends up making it look like it's translucent. Wow, oh my God. I really cannot wait till this can be an attachment on my VR AR rig. And I can start to see the whole world through this. Oh, spectacular. All right, I'm actually curious about doing a, a sanding operation on this uh, hollow chrome ball. 
Um, but first I notice, yeah, this hand feels colder than this hand. And uh, as evidenced on camera, you can see that my right hand fingers are much colder than my left hand fingers. I just want to see if I... Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, here we go. We have this chrome ball. Ooh. Oh, what a shot. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit this with some of the very hard scotch bright, and I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. You can see the glowy spot. But it's also... It's... Oh, the reflections is this whole other feature I hadn't considered. I've never held anything reflective into a thermal camera. But yeah, you can see that the surface is starting to get hot. And where the normal one is about 17 degrees Celsius, the hot part is 23. Yeah, I'm only raising this by a few degrees, but it's still visible. <laughs> oh, very cool. And I mean, when I hold my hand up, oh, wow. I. I really hadn't considered just how cool the reflection parameters of heat and what this image looks like. Oh, there is like a t-shirt in here, something, somewhere. All right, where was my sanding spot? There it was. Yeah, you can see it getting warmer and warmer. Oh man, that is, oh, look, there's Josh and there's Norm and that's me. Hello. <laughs> oh, and there's the hot spot. Wow. I mean, I don't know. I want to shoot something like this. That is so neat. There's another thing thermal cameras do, which I really like, is they show you where heat recently was. So I've seen bank heist movies where someone used the push pad on an alarm system and someone immediately came up with a thermal camera and they can see which four buttons had been pressed, which actually narrows it down quite quickly. Um, but I have a fairly different vision of something that I noticed years ago with an early thermal camera I was playing with. And I feel like this should be in a ghost movie and I can't believe it hasn't been made in, have this, that this trick I'm about to show you hasn't been done in a ghost film. So I'm gonna take off my shoes and I'm gonna take off my socks. Um, oh, hold on, let me, uh, there we go. I'm gonna take off my shoes and socks. I don't know that I've ever been barefoot <laughs> in my own cave here. Oh, let's get this. All right. Okay, so um, my shoes and socks are there. My feet are here. And I think you can already see what I'm going to be looking at as I back up my footprints stay on the ground. Look at that, dude. I could totally imagine <laughs> a ghost movie in which you hear a noise and you see footprints on the thermal camera, right? I, that would be so cool. It is really like, it's really impressive how quickly the, uh, the heat in your body transfers to the floor. There he is. <laughs> Interestingly enough, my feet are just as disgusting on the thermal imaging camera as they are in real life. Um, this is such a powerful tool. And like I said at the beginning, I every time I'm able to see the world through a different lens, literally using a different wavelength of energy, it feels like I'm tapping into some kind of superpower. This is a superpower in a 22 gram package. Um, normal usage of this is for HVAC or plumbing, finding leaks, finding hot spots, finding places where you're losing cold or heat in your house. But I think we've had a lot more fun than just those kind of parameters, don't you? Um, thanks to Fluke for the fun equipment to play with and uh, for making everything the most gorgeous color of yellow. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>